What's going on and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review and setup. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Soil Eaters belt mounted tourniquet holder version two. Now this guy is gonna cost you roughly around 25 bucks. It does come in a lot of different colors and camo patterns. So if you're in a department or an organization that requires that you wear a certain color or camo pattern, you do have the ability to adhere to some of that stuff. And then there are two different versions of this actual holder itself. You have the standard version like you see here, which has the loop portion on the interior and the hook portion on the exterior for your Velcro. There's also the reversed version where they just reverse that where your hook portion is on the interior and your loop portion is on the exterior. So if you're running a belt like the GBRS, you'll still be able to run one of these on your belts. Uh, with that, I do think this is probably one of the better tourniquet holders on the market because it'll provide adequate coverage and retention for your tourniquet so that way you won't lose it and protect it from UV light, the environment, and any environmental concerns that you may have when it comes to protecting your tourniquet so that way it doesn't fail when you need it. So uh, with that, I'm just gonna go over a quick review of the entire thing. It's very simple and straightforward. It's just, uh, I'm gonna say five inch, maybe six inch elastic that is pretty much S folded over itself or kind of just folded over itself. So you have your big loop for your tourniquet and then you have the small loop for your Sharpie marker. And like I said, you have the loop Velcro on the interior and your hook Velcro on the exterior. So it's pretty simple and straightforward when it comes to the overall construction. When it comes to setting up your tourniquet for this, this is one of the things that you really need to take into consideration and methodically think out because if you don't set it up correctly, your tourniquet will get stuck on the interior of this tourniquet holder. Uh, it will still come out, but it can be kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt because when you need it, you want it to just be able to pull right out, but still have this thing retain the tourniquet, especially when you're shooting and moving and running around and whatnot. So when it comes to the actual setup of this guy, what I like to do is like many of the other ways of setting this up, you just S fold this guy all together and then fold your running end or your tail end over everything to protect it. Uh, with that, taking the time side of the tourniquet, I like to take the tourniquet itself and pull that as tight as possible to that time loop that you see right there and then run that to your adjustment point and then right in the center of it right here is where you're gonna fold it over. So you'll fold it over and just Try and keep that as square as possible so that way you don't have any excess overlap on either side. I'll fold it over again. And then from here, you'll take your adjustment side or your running end side of your tourniquet and fold that over and cover up as much of the tourniquet as possible when it comes to the Velcro that you see exposed here. That way, this won't get stuck and held up on the interior of the tourniquet holder. It might catch just a little bit, but it will still rapidly employ when you need it and need to apply it to any type of injury. From there, what I like to do is just open this up, try and rotate it on its side just a little bit so that way you won't have that Velcro try and grab and then prevent you from being able to push this guy all the way in. And once you get to the point where it's all the way in, you'll just pull the other side out on the other end, making sure that this looks square on this side, and then the other side is square on this side. From there, you can just make minor adjustments to get that to sit nice and flush, and that's how that goes in there. With that, you also have the Sharpie holder. This is a really nice thing to have. Uh, you can set this up on either the top or the bottom, I kind of prefer it on the bottom, but it's nice to have this Sharpie holder because then you have the ability to just write that time right on your tourniquet, write down any stuff that you need for a trauma, trauma combat casualty card. And then if you're on the range shooting, you made marks on your, uh, on your target. So that way you're not repeating things on the range and whatnot and all of that, you have the ability to mark and do a lot of things with that and then not lose equipment. Sharpie markers, for some reason on the range, they always disappear, but this is a really nice way to make sure that you don't lose it and uh, retain everything so that way you're not having to rebuy those items. So that's how all that kind of goes together. And then you can see this will just slide right out if you make sure that this is all kind of properly set up. So 
with that you can set this up anywhere on your belt when it comes down to it i prefer to set everything up on the front so that way it's all centered so that way i can access the tourniquet with either hand and be able to employ that on whatever extremity may be injured or immobile setting this thing up is pretty simple and straightforward you just slide this on and then what i like to do is just make sure when you're putting this all together pull the velcro side out so that way it doesn't catch as easily as uh, it could if you had this nice and flush uh, and then that way you're not fighting that velcro get it to the point wherever you're on your belt that you want it and then just velcro it down you have the hook side of this belt this is actually the ronin task force belt will connect to the loop side of your tourniquet holder and then you just press all that together make sure it's nice and secured pull on it tug on it push on it whatever the case may be that way uh, you're good to go and then from there you'll just take your tourniquet and like i showed you before get it started and then kind of rotate it over so that way your velcro doesn't grab onto the interior of this and then you'll just push it all the way through with the belt on there it is a little bit more challenging there are a couple of belts out there that i've seen that actually have velcro in the middle of it i don't know why uh, but they are there they're out there so that's where just kind of practicing that rotating it just a little bit will help and then once you get it all the way through sure everything looks nice and square rotate it around a little bit good to go like so so that's good to go and all secure and set up on the inside of the pouch run your sharpie marker through it and like I said, you can run this on the top or the bottom. It really doesn't matter. And then put your loop or your buckle back on your belt. And you're good to go. And that is as simple as that. So that's what it'll look like when it's all said and done and set up on the belt. You make any necessary adjustments that you might need. And then you're good to go and you have a tourniquet set up on your belt, secured in place so that way it's not going to come out. And it's definitely going to retain this thing. I don't want to pull it out just yet, but it'll retain the tourniquet. And that way when you're shooting and moving, running around, doing whatever you need to do, uh, you're going to be able to retain that tourniquet. It'll protect it and give you a lot of coverage from that UV light and those environmental considerations that some people really take um, seriously. And then, uh, yeah, when you need it, it, just pulls right out. So with that, if you have any questions, please feel free and ask. Definitely willing to help when it comes to this guy. It can be a little bit challenging the first time that you put it all together, but it is a really nice product. I do think it's definitely probably one of the best tourniquet holders on the market because it keeps everything in the center as long as you set it up up front and then it retains that tourniquet until you need it. And then it allows that tourniquet to come out pretty easily. So with that, like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free and ask, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.